playing the gold and gold? Are we playing the gold and gold? Uh, you mean Natalie? Yeah. No, you know what? We didn't. I thought, well, anyway, I won't go into it. I thought she was wearing like a green gold, which I guess it is, but now I'm like, we really are. We compliment each other. Everyone should be wearing gold on Dynasty and diamonds. And, uh, well, like, I mean, it's not like you guys brought the, the costume department with you. No, it's true. Not, not today. <laughs> So how is the costuming? I talked to Natalie a little bit about it, oh. and she's just like, it was like the scene in Pretty Woman. Oh yeah, we, we literally did a montage in Pretty Woman. Um, yes, I mean, it's, uh, it's fabulous. Meredith Markworth Pollock is incredibly talented. She is so hardworking, but also really um, strives to find what makes our fashion unique from the original dynasty, um, as well as finding ways to homage the 80s flavor that's back in fashion right now. So, yeah, it's great. So, did you ever watch the original show? Oh, yes, I did. I was very young. I watched it with my family. I remember watching them more than I do the actual TV for their reactions. Um, but, yeah, things like the cat fights, the, the fashion, the gowns really stuck out, stuck out to me. And also the um, house itself felt like this amazing opulent dollhouse that all these like, women were lounging about in. It was just like for a little girl, it was kind of a dream. Yeah. And then, so how is it shooting in Atlanta? Uh, it's it's fantastic. I'm actually from Atlanta. Yeah, it's my hometown. So um, for me, it's a dream to be back there and producing a show there. Um, and I love, you know, yeah, I go I go back every two weeks or so, and I see I get to see my family on weekends and spend time with cast and crew every day. Um, and it's just like it's a great city. It's a vibrant city. It's a diverse city. And for me, the juxtapositions of um, the blue city and a red state and old money versus new money they're all like topics that we're exploring on the show. Do you show like? the cast and crew on days off like no no, no you don't go to varsities go over here absolutely actually um we have a very long list compiled of fam fabulous restaurants and uh you know cultural events you know stone mountain that's, that's, a, that's a little inside trip do you do lemon pepper wet or just lemon pepper dry wait sorry say it again. oh yes oh my god i haven't heard that in like 15 years i think yeah um lemon pepper dry i don't love yeah there's this show hot ones and they just did a thing about lemon pepper dry and i taught myself how to cook it and it's pretty great you cooked it oh, yeah. it turned out well yeah. i'm very interested i mean I'll, I'll send you a link okay thank you <laughs> that's amazing i love it also there's you know the waffle house the um what is it diced uh, smothered covered diced and uh, it's been too long i need to get back to waffle house come on we're, we're taking dynasty waffle house you guys that's 2017 for you Episode 13, finale. Carrington's, the house burns down. They have no choice but to go to Waffle House. Because, I mean, it's an opulent menu. Yeah, the doors are always open. Yeah. <laughs> so, is there anything, like, do you feel kind of chained to the original, or do you guys feel enough freedom to do what you want with the show? I feel inspired by the original. I know, yeah, we never say chained. Um, the, the characters that Shapiro's created... Are, that have amazingly strong legs. The architecture of the original series, the dynamic um, relationships are, are fantastic things to draw from. Um, and a lot of it endures today in 2017. Um, and then we've, of course, updated some things, um, different character choices. But um, but for the most part, it's just uh, it's amazing to have that many seasons of a show to look to um, to see what we want to draw from. So CW has a lot of crossover shows. What kind of crossover would you want to have with Dynasty? Um, well, we've, we've joked about the Valor Dynasty crossover, which makes very little sense, but you know, maybe. Atlanta could get, like, overtaken by a military force, and then it takes the team from Valor to rescue the caring Very good point. Yes, absolutely. We've also, um, Raphael, who plays Sammy Joe, we've joked about um, Jane the Virgin crossover. He goes down to Miami, you know, gets into trouble there, or brings her back to Atlanta, you know. That, that works a little better than vampires or, like, having the Flash. Probably, though I wouldn't be opposed to those either. I mean, they're all soaps at the end of the day, right? So 